welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be installing a wig from tanashi here inside the package i received a whole bunch of stuff a bonnet a headband wig cap clips edge brush lashes and some more stuff The wig that I'll be installing is a deep wave 5x5 24 inch wig. This is what the wig looks like straight out the package. As you guys can see it already came pre-cut. The knots were bleached and plucked already. So all that's left for me to do is to hot comb it in place. The wig also came with three clips and an elastic band and adjustable one so that the wig can be snug on your client's head. You guys can see from this point of view how small and bleached the knots are. This is what the wig looks like before I did any hot combing. The first thing that I do is take out the hairs that I'll be using to style the baby hairs. Once I've gotten the amount of hair out that I'll be needing, I use my wax stick, place it on the root of the hair, and then hot comb them down. Then I'll be doing the same thing to the next side of the wig. Before I hot comb each side down, I'm going to perfect the middle part so that the part can look sharp and is directly in the center. Once I have the part that is needed, I'm going to use my wax stick and tail comb, separate each side of the closure into three parts and flatten it down with my hot comb.
After I finished hot combing both sides of the closure, I did thin out some of the baby hairs. My client decided to keep in her old braids, which is fine as long as the braids are still flat. To slick back her edges, I'm using Got To Be Glued, the black one. I'm gonna comb them up and blow dry it on cold. Once all my client's baby hairs are slicked back, I used my sheer stockings and placed it on her head as a replacement for a wig cap. This wig and stole will be completely glueless, so for the bulk cap, I use my Got To Be Free Spray to hold the cap down. I also blow dry this step on cold setting. The makeup that I'm using to match my client's skin complexion is Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation number 12. This is what the wig looks like on my client's head after it's been positioned correctly. As you guys can see, the lace does not match my client's skin tone at all. So now I'm just going in with the same makeup that I used for the ball cap and placing it on top of the lace so that it can match better. When I'm cutting the baby hairs, I like to cut them diagonally and leave them a little long because I do find it easier to swoop them when the baby hairs are a little longer. So I try to line it up with my client's eyebrows to make it easier. For the baby hairs, I use my Got To Be Glued Gel, the black one, and place it on the baby hair so that once I use the mousse, it still lays flat while I'm swooping them. Now I'm just using five wrap strips and placing it on the baby hairs until they're dry. Once the baby hairs are completely dried, you can then remove the wrap strips. 
Now I'm using my permanent marker and just covering all the hairs that had gotten over bleached. This makes the part look sharper and neater. Before I hot comb, I use BioSilk and I place it all over the areas of the wig that I'll be hot combing. You guys can see from this point of view what a difference the makeup makes once it has been placed on top of the lace. The lace now matches my client's skin tone much better than before. To make the part look better, I used an angled brush and the same Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation number 12 to outline the part. This is the finished look of the install. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Remember that this wig is completely glueless and it still came out so flawless. Continue watching for more clips of the finished look.